Welcome listeners to the Fleet Midlife Bolivia with host Lorian. Welcome everyone to Fleet Midlife Bolivia with Lorianne. This is my first episode and I'm really excited about it. We are going to be sharing on this podcast information and talking basically about bulimia. Now, some of you younger people will likely be able to relate to some of it and possibly not other of it. Reason being is that what we're going to be talking about are bulimics who have gone through it for a long time or even have just started in their 30s, 40s and 50s. A whole different ball game at this point. I know that uh, some of the things are the same, crazy things that we do, like two scoops of ice cream while we're eating will trigger that. Well, if I had that, I just went over what I was supposed to have. So why don't I just eat the whole kitchen, get rid of it anyway. Uh, Other things that we think about is our rituals about, you know, while we're having our bulimic episodes that when we're going to be doing it, we need water to help to remove it. And we will do this in a ritual. We'll probably have you know, three glasses uh, over time. And I know that in my case, when I was bulimic, I would even count it. I'd count to 10 when I was drinking it. Crazy stuff. It really sounds crazy now, but it was reality. So this is what we're going to be talking about. And I want other people out there, if you want to share your story, get a hold of me. I'm going to be having a website that's going to be up that you'll be able to sign up for uh, if you're interested. And that's going to be... uh, basically www.bleepbulimia.com. And I want you to be on here. And if there's any specialists who have been dealing with women uh, in their later stages, again, love to speak to you about it. We want to keep this as simple as possible. I don't want to scare everybody off with all the statistics of what can happen. I just want to talk about the stories. And I want to really say, when I say bleep bulimia, you know what I'm really saying. I have been recovered for 10 years, but I struggled for 30 of them. It's a whole different world when you're in those moments of having children and a business and trying to be perfect to everyone. And then also what I call when you're in your 40s, you know, it's almost like the adult puberty. Your bodies are changing, you're going through menopause, and you're still struggling to get through and recover from bulimia. So... These are, you know, some of them will be stories that are sad. Some of the stories will be frustrating and some of the stories will lighten it up. And when I make note of certain things that are to me today funny and when we talk about it seem kind of strange and weird and almost fascinatingly, yeah, strange. uh, What I want to do, though, is make sure that we're not belittling it, but there are times that if we don't laugh at ourselves, um, you know, it's a lot harder to get through. Positive is a very important aspect of the recovery process. And let me tell you, there is nothing like being recovered, being able to go and sit in a family dinner and not sit there and panic about, oh my goodness, when are the 20 minutes after I've eaten that I can find somewhere to hide? Um, And that whole hiding thing is some of the lies, some of them, You know, I would love to hear what were your lies? What were your cover up stories? And really, did people really believe it? (laughs) These are the things we'll be discussing. Really excited about this. Uh, I really believe that there's a lot of people who can really get some help from this. Bulimia is not just for adolescents. There are a lot of adult females and males who have bulimia and are still struggling. Some of them, again, as I said, from the time that they were teens and it carried through and some of them that are starting later on in life because of the change of the body and a little bit of a panic of how they can really try and maintain their weight, their health. Bulimia is not the answer. There are many other answers, but it, this is what we're dealing with and we want to hear from you. So again, if you're interested in being on the show, please reach out to me. You can also reach me by email at bleepbulimia at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, everyone, and we will be back next week with the next episode. Thank you for listening to this episode. Be sure to visit me at bleepbulimia.com.